Hey guys, I'm back in the shop. Uh, it's been about a week since my last video. Uh, hey, I'm sure a lot of you seen it on my Facebook, but if not, uh, the reason for that is uh, my dog Sprocket, the shop dog, AKA Fathead. Uh, he passed away about a week ago and uh, it just sucked being out here without him. Uh, I needed a break, so that's what I did. And uh, hey, it's not all bad. Got this pretty girl with us today. Uh, she's not much for the cold. She'd much rather be inside, but I made her come out here with me. But here we are back on the Impala. So happy thoughts. She is not happy to be out here. Uh, she'd much rather be inside laying on her couch. Look at her pouting. She's so dramatic. But anyways, on to the Impala. Um, I have done a little bit. Uh, that floor pan is fully welded and I felt comfortable enough getting that welded in. I uh, gave it enough structural integrity back that I cut out all the floor pan in the trunk. And I'll just be making uh, all new panels for it rather than buy them. Really the only thing underneath, uh, which I knew this one body mount needs reworked. So I'll do that while the floor is out. And uh, also while the floor is out, which what we'll be doing tonight is uh, bagging this thing because it is super easy to get to everything right now with everything cut out. That's the uh, spring pocket there where the bag will go. So everything's out in the open. Uh, get to all four corners super easy with the tour part. Got everything pretty much to get started on it. So uh, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start on the front of this. Uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, a lot of people will just plate this lower arm on these cars and the bag will sit flush right on the plate. But uh, I don't have plates laying around. I have cups, so that's what we're gonna use. Uh, that'll go in the bottom. We'll eventually weld that into place. Uh, the upper cup just goes, you know, up inside the spring pocket where the spring would usually go. This piece of all thread will stick through the factory uh, shock hole. And obviously the bag just mounts in between them. Uh, we may have to do some trimming on the inside of the spring pocket for bag clearance. But really the only thing we need to figure out is uh, the height of this upper cup we may have to cut it down a little bit so it doesn't hold the car up uh, just to make sure it lays out like it should uh, to do that i'm basically just going to bolt a wheel back on put a jack under it jack it up to where the bottom of the tire is even with the bottom of the frame and then i measure from this lower cup to the top of the frame reel. That'll give us, let's just say 10 inches. And uh, these bags compress down to three inches. So uh, that would mean you need a seven inch cup. Obviously we won't. That was just an example. And this distance may end up being more like six inches. So we may have to cut this cup down to uh, three inches. And obviously the bag will be three inches and that would give you your six inches when you're fully laid out. But that's really the only thing you need to figure out on the front of these. Everything else just kind of bolts together. So let's get started.
Okay, so here's where we're at with it. The uh, distance from the floor to the bottom of the frame was 13 inches. So I set this wheel from the floor to the bottom of the tire is uh, 14 inches. That just gives me an inch of wiggle room so I know it's going to lay out no problem. I uh, then measured the distance from the bottom of this control arm where that uh, bottom cup fits. Measured from there uh, inside this spring pocket, but I measured up to the top of the frame. Uh, that was six inches, about six and a half. So these cups are about three and a half inches tall. So I'll mark it at three inches all the way around and I uh, cut off that extra half an inch, but that'll be three inches and this bag fully collapsed is uh, three inches. So that'll give me the six inches to fill that gap up. Uh, I won't be giving up uh, much lift and it'll lay out. So I'll get it all bolted together, uh, test fit in there and see what, if anything is gonna need trimmed out of that spring pocket to make uh, clearance for that bag not to rub. So let's do it. Okay, so I got everything test fit in. Uh, fairly easy. The only thing I had to do, uh, that's the factory shock hole. I had to drill it out a little bit for that uh, all thread to fit through so I could bolt in there. I left this pretty loose. So once it's in place, uh, these upper bags, these upper cups, uh, can you see how they're kind of offset? So you can spin this inside the pocket uh, and this bag will sit inward or outward depending on where you put this. Um, this, this car here, uh, this hole is where the airline will go in into the air fitting. And I'm going to run the airline through the frame. So I wanted this hole facing the back of the car sitting just like that basically inside there. Uh, so really the only thing I'm gonna have to do, I already marked it, is uh, uh, trim the front of this frame off a little bit and get this bump stop out of there just to uh, give me some clearance against that bag. And uh, one thing you don't wanna do on any frame uh, is make really hard square cuts. Try to leave everything as round as you can uh, like if you just cut this straight 90 degree, it's going to want to crack on the corner of any uh, square cuts like that. So I just marked it out and just try to make everything real nice and rounded where you're not going to get any cracks later on. But that's pretty much it on the front of these. I'll get this tore back apart. I uh, get that chunk of frame cut out and test fit it again. Okay, so you should end up with uh, something similar to this. Like I said, I just make everything nice, round, and smooth. Uh, no hard corners. And uh, don't be a caveman and always go back and buff your cuts. And just clean it up a little bit. But pretty simple. So I'll uh, get it thrown back together for a test fit. Make sure we're good to go and jump to the other side.
Okay, so we got it back in there. Uh, it all fits pretty nice. It is uh, touching on the back here, so I marked it again uh, to trim that little section out. Ideally, you want uh, about a finger width gap all the way around it. Uh, I don't know if you can tell on the back side of that, it's got a mile, uh, but the front is usually what you have to trim out the most. So I'll trim that little spot out, uh, test fit it again real quick, and then jump to the other side. Okay, so I got that all trimmed up, uh, ready to throw it together uh, for good, even though it'll be back apart 20 times before this car hits the road. Uh, there's the spot I trimmed out. Like I said, just try to keep everything nice, smooth, and round like that. Uh, one other thing I'll show you is uh, these frames. I'm running this airline through the frame, and inside that pocket there is uh, plate there so yeah I had to drill a hole for the airline to pass through and it's just coming out a factory hole in the frame right now at some point I'll put uh, grommets around both those just to keep the line safe uh, got the fitting on the bag and I recommend always buying like spend the extra money, get really nice fittings. These ones actually swivel. So uh, it just gives you wiggle room with everything. Uh, it doesn't have to be as precise and it allows that airline to move around a little bit. It's not gonna drag on stuff as easy, but that's pretty much it for the front of these. I'll get this side uh, slammed together and I uh, jump to the other side. I'll use this side as a reference to mark that side. Uh, so I won't even bother test fitting everything over there. I know it'll be the same, but that's it. So a little pro tip on these, uh, hey, don't use a uh, ratcheting wrench on them studs apparently. Okay, so here we are. I uh, got everything temporarily plumbed in just so I can get some air in these bags. Everything fits real nice. Sits in there nice, plenty of clearance. So uh, eh, I'll get these front wheels on and uh, get this thing on the ground just so I can double check everything before we jump to the back.
So check it out. Got the uh, front back on the ground. I did mark uh, a few little slivers that I'm gonna cut out on both sides when I take this thing back apart. Uh, they're fine for now. They're probably fine, but building this thing for my dad, he's never had anything on air ride. So uh, I don't want him to have any problems on the side of the road. So we'll just take care of that now. But only about, I don't know, 50 pounds in the shop compressor. But everything sits real nice. Gets a ton of lift. And most importantly, lays out. But that's pretty much it for the front. Uh, hey, really nothing to the front of these cars. It really is that easy. Uh, I did it with basic little hand tools. So uh, anybody could do it. I guess if you're running bigger wheels, it's gonna complicate things a little more. But if you're trying to run big wheels on a 63 Impala, you're kind of already screwing up. So let's get to the rear. All right, so the rear of these cars, uh, eh. basically like the front, if not a little easier, I will measure the height of the frame, the bottom of the frame to the floor and set my height on the rear wheels uh, just about the same. I'll give it a little bit of wiggle room just like I did on the front. And then I, that is the upper spring pocket. And here's the lower on the trailing arm. Uh, once I have all my height set, I'll just measure this. And then Uh, this is the upper, and that is the lower cup for the rear. I will cut accordingly and bolt them in, and that's pretty much all there is to the back of these. Okay, so here's where I have the rear. Uh, when I set my the bottom of my tire, even with the bottom of the frame, the uh, gap between the factory upper and lower uh, spring mounts it was about eight and a half inches. And like I said earlier, these bags compressed uh, three inches, and this upper cup is uh, three and a half, so that would have been six and a half. So I needed uh, another inch and a half. So I marked this lower cup uh, to an inch and a half and I'll cut it right below that tape line. And then I, once it's cut, I don't know if you can see it real good, but I, I'll just weld it directly to this lower mount. You could make it bolt in, I guess, if you wanted, but I don't see any need to. And I, the only other thing I'll have to do is drill a hole in the center of that upper one so that all thread can uh, poke through and bolt this into place. But other than that, they'll bolt right in there. And like I said, these cars are super simple. Anyone could do it. So here's where I'm at the rear. I got that lower cup 
trimmed down, uh, welded a bolt to the bottom where I can just spin that bag on before I swing everything up into place. And then I got this factory mount uh, cleaned up. So that lower cup will just sit on there, get it centered, uh, throw a couple stitch welds around it, and then I drill out this here top mount for the uh, all thread and the airline to go through and we'll bolt it all together. Okay, to give you a quick look at the rear setup before I jump to the other side. Well, like I said, I just trimmed that lower cup, welded it in place, uh, drilled some holes for that upper one. And obviously when I go to put this together for good, I'll drill that hole out a little bigger and uh, put a grommet on there. I was going to uh, just run the airline out of the side, like on the front, but there's this big gusset here and a body mount on the other side. Uh, so it's just kind of easier to run it out of the uh, top. It'll go right into the trunk from there. But that's pretty much all there is to the rear of these things. So uh, I'll button the side up and jump to the other side. So there she is. Things cooler than dang. I said there's some fine tuning needs done, a little trimming here and there. But I did this in uh, less than four hours. I think closer to three hours and with really basic tools. So anyone could do this. Like I said, I still have to go back, put gussets in a lot of stuff. Uh, some trimming here and there. But that's really how easy these cars are. All right, guys, that's it for this time. Uh, hopefully that helps somebody out or maybe motivates somebody uh, that doesn't think they could do this uh, to do it because it really is about the easiest car you could possibly do. But uh, see you next time.